Hello YouTubers, Jollibee here and welcome to my first series of Warm Online Tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to feed yourself as the starter character. As you can see, Worm is pretty immersive and I will cover you how to feed yourself as you travel so you don't starve yourself to death. First, find yourself a nice big open grass area as you explore. You should be find many of these. You may need to go further if you are in an older server because they're pretty much populated by other players. But once you do find a grass area like this area right here where I'm on, right click the grass tile, go to nature, forage, and botanize. Um, you may get this notification that's been picked clean, so you just gotta move on to the next tile and see if you can get lucky. As you can see, I'm botanizing. Hopefully I can find something good. And see what we get. Bode. Can't really eat that, so I'm going to the next tile and forage and botanize again. I recommend both because the both action gives you ch chances of getting berries, herbs, and other plant and veggies that you can eat for yourself. As you can see, my f my hunger bar is at seventy four percent, at forty eight percent, but I'm, I'm, my food bar is still pretty full. But I want to get my nutrition up. Oh, we got a garlic. Let's see if we can get lucky again. So we'll continue this till we have enough assortments of goods to feed ourselves. After a couple minutes of foraging and botanizing, as you can see from my inventory, I've gotten quite a few herbs, berries, and some crops also. So if you're in a pinch and you have no access to fire and a pottery bowl, you can eat these items raw. So like I'm gonna eat this strawberry right here. Eat. Right click on the strawberry and eat. As you can see, it's gonna fill out your hunger bar, but very slowly. The most efficient way for you to get the most nutri nutrients or hunger fill bar for these is to actually cook them. So for the next step, is you need to find a clay tile, dig up some clay, and make a couple of bowls. As you see right here, I have found some clay. Clay tiles are these gray tiles right here, labeled clay. And all clay tiles are located near water of any body of water, lake, oceans, small kind of river. So once you find a clay tile, activate your shovel. Right click on the ground, not the border, but on the clay tile, and dig. As you can see, my character is now digging for clay. And now you just dig a couple. Dig one more just for safe measures. Wait for my guy to dig up some clay. Alright, once you have clay in your inventory, open up your body tab, find your right arm, double click on your right hand to activate it. 
right click on the clay and create yourself a container for cooking. Uh, the simplest and easiest way for s for you to start out is by making a clay bowl. Since clay is cheap and easy to get. See right here, I have a 45% chance of making a clay bowl. Let's see how lucky can we get. And if you do fail, just keep trying. Clay, clay don't deplete. So if you do have a series of bad luck, just keep digging clay and make those bowls. Three fails in a row. Well, two fails so far. We're on our third try. And since while we're at it, we're near the water as it is, they could drink. Make sure our um, water bar is full so we can get our stamina faster. Well, it will regenerate faster. And we got a clay bowl. But since it's not done, this clay bowl needs to be hardened on a fire so we're not done yet so you need to make a fire put the bowl in the fire let it harden and then the bowl will be usable for cooking and then while you're at it I would suggest making yourself a jar so that you can store water in it and drink as you're traveling so you don't have to be always near a body of water. It's very handy as you can get pretty thirsty when you're traveling. Especially when you're inland and there's no source of water. Once that once that water bar gets pretty low, your stamina bar will regen in a snail speed. There we go. We'll just make one of each for now. And now our next quest is to find a tree, cut it down, and make ourselves a fire. So what you need is your starting starting axe, hatchet, sorry, and find yourself a tree that you can chop down. When you're looking for a tree, you usually you want it in the uh, age of old or older um, and cutting down a tree that is still mature will not yield a felled tree and will only yield one log which may not be enough to find out the, tr the age of a tree is you examine it and you see it's an old pine tree this tree is perfect to be cut down and you'll get a felled tree. Um, but also, if you find a tree that's already too old, let's see if I can find it. It will also yield the same amount as a mature tree. So you best ignore that and it'll regrow to a younger tree version and, and it'll go through the whole process till it gets to the old tree or very old but for now we're gonna cut down this this old pine tree by activating our hatchet by double clicking so let's say activated right here right click on the tree tile and cut down as you can see the guy is cutting down the tree it will take multiple actions um, you can tell if the tree is about to fall down is by examining the tree tile that you're cutting. And the damage right there is 73. Once it gets to 100, the tree will be chopped down into a felled tree, as you see right here. <coughs> With the felled tree and your hatchet still activated, you need to chop it down. Chop up. Right click on the felled tree. Chop up. And it will cut it down into smaller logs that you can use. 
um, an old tree should fetch about four to six logs depending if it still has his its sprouts so it would take a couple of chop ups to get the full amount of logs in this felled tree and let's see where our logs popping up as we chop this oh there we go there's the log let's finish chopping up this tree and we should continue on our way after this after a few choppings up from the fell tree the tree the fell tree will disappear and all you'll have left is the pile of, is the logs so just right click on this pile of log open and you can see we get five logs and an extra log right there I'm gonna take a couple of logs see if I can carry them all three logs and with these logs you can make kindling to make kindling is you activate your carving knife right click on the log and you make yourself kindling after a while you will get kindling made one but let's just make more just in case starting out in worm you will fail a lot so you need a lot of patience to keep trying and trying again till you get the item that you want so we'll just wait for a couple more kindlings to be made Then we'll be ready to make a fire. Okay, I think we're gonna stop it at four kindling. Oh, we failed, so three should be good. And now we make a fire. Once you got your kindling already, the next is you now start a fire. To start a fire, you need to activate your steel and flint, right click on kindling, and make a campfire. Just like from the worm tutorial at the beginning of the game where you have to do in order to play the game. <laughs> Use the kindling to make a campfire. Let me take a couple of tries. Since I only have a 50% success chance in making one. So, need some patience. Once you are successful with making a fire, the campfire should be should pop up right in front of you. Let's see, third charm, third try is the charm here. Nope, no luck. So we'll try again with a campfire. Kindling is too small. Okay. Let's combine the kindling. That again. Activate the steel flint. Create containers campfire. Let's queue up a couple, two more, in case we fail. 
starting out, you have you can queue up three actions. Well, two actions plus the initial action. Since I already made one, I'm gonna cancel the creating of more campfires by pressing escape twice because I queued up two more. With this fire, you right click and open it. Drag your bowl and your jar inside the campfire. And then you need to feed the fire so the fire won't die out. To do so is you need to get a log. Open the pile of logs. Grab a log. Put in your inventory. Activate the log, right click on the fire and burn it. This should last you long enough that you can harden this clay jar and clay bowl. Once this is done and then you're ready to use the bowl to make yourself a meal. So let's just wait around here. So the fire is hot enough. As you can see, it's only very warm. So this might take a while. So we're gonna fast forward this till it's done. As you can see here, the clay jar and bowl have now hardened and turned into the pottery jar and a pottery bowl. This took me about five, five, six minutes just waiting around, waiting for the fire to go to the glowing. It is glowing from the heat stage, which is the hottest stage of an item can be inside a fire, like a fire, a campfire, oven, or a forge. When in that stage, these items turned into hardened and now became pottery jars and pottery bowls. First, we'll put our pottery jar in our inventory. Activate the pottery jar. Right click in on a water tile and fill it up. As you can see, you have two kilograms of water in the jar, which you can drink. Would you? And now you have a you have water to drink as you travel inland and you won't be thirsty and hoping to kill yourself because you're walk you're in crawling speed. With this now we go back to the campfire by opening it. With this bowl in the fire you are now ready to cook. So to make a simple food as a as a starting out character you we need to basically make stews. Stews are really easy to make and it's filling enough to last you for a while. To make a stew, you need a blueberry, any kind of berry, strawberries, lingonberry, blueberry, and a pottery bowl. Put the blueberry in the bowl and an herb. So parsley, basil, like that and it will cook. Now if you're not sure if it's going to make anything, you right click on the bowl, you examine it, it's going to make a casserole. We don't want a casserole. <laughs> We're not skilled enough for a casserole. We want stews. I think stews are two berries in a pottery bowl. So you examine it, and you make a stew, a 9. The difficulty is 9, right here. So you wait around, and this two bear blueberries will turn it into a stew. Okay, the difficulty is in relevant, um, relation to your cooking skill. So as you start off, you have no cooking skill. So you want to keep the difficulty 10 
are in the t 10 range of your cooking skill. So if you have a dip uh, cooking a 0, you don't want the difficulty to go over 10. So if you have difficult if your cooking skill is at 10, you don't want the difficulty to go over 20. The casserole right now is 21. So we won't we won't make a very delicious tasting casserole if you do it at the beginning. That's why I had tried to avoid that in the beginning for now. Also, there's a difficulty modifier on what on what you use to cook your food. A campfire will add a plus five difficulty. An oven will add no difficulty and a forge will add a plus ten difficulty. So right now if we cook if we use this powder bowl with two blueberries in an oven, the difficulty would be a 4 instead of a 9 because the campfire adds a, um, a plus 5 bit to the base difficulty. So we wait for that to cook and we'll show you how useful this too is. is right now I'm, my hunger bar is half empty, so my character is pretty getting there, and it's gonna start affecting my stamina regen pretty soon. So while we wait for that, and if you're cooking in mass, you're gonna cook a lot of stews, and you have a lot of bowls and materials. You just get the berries inside the forge, so they're already getting hot. And then once there are um, once they're in a glowing from the heat status, once you put them in the bowl, it will pretty much instantly cook. So I put two berries in. So if I'm gonna my next batch, I'm gonna dump all these berries in the pottery bowl, and it, and it will make a heavier stew. So, so that the stew will last you longer. So, we'll f let's see where am I at? We're at. It is hot. Okay. So we'll fast forward time right now, and I'll see you when the stew is ready. After a, mo a while, your food will turn into a stew and be ready to be eaten. So, go right ahead and eat it. Oh, too hot to eat, so I'll take it out of the fire. And wait for it to cool. Snuff the fire and that's how you feed yourself showed you how to get to carry water in your travels and I showed you how to do basic cooking tune in for my next tutorial where I show you how to build a basic home if you like what you see please comment or hit the subscribe button for more upcoming videos next week.